What's up everyone? This is Omar of Omar Ramos Photography and I wanted to hop on really quick uh, on my YouTube channel um, to discuss my latest move. Uh, and, and this is not new stuff, but you know, it's new for me. Um, once I get to a brand or, or, or choose a brand, I'm very, very loyal. Uh, case in point, I was an icon shooter for 20 plus years. Uh, this is prior to their mirrorless camera system, and I really love Nikon. I've had some uh, amazing experiences with Nikon system, um, but then I switched to Sony, and I've been with Sony for eight or nine years now. So, uh, so that's a long time. And um, and the the reason for this uh, YouTube video is, you know, people were asking me because I posted on Facebook that I switch from Godox to Westcott and so I just wanted to discuss a couple of reasons why I made the change and uh, it may be minor to some folks but as a full-time photographer as uh, as I am you know there are some some things that you need to have consistent and to help your workflow and it just got worse and worse and worse with my Godox lights unfortunately but first, let me just say this. Godox has been a game changer in the off-camera flash lighting arena, and uh, they have implemented and introduced some, some amazing technologies. And I give all the props to Godox, and I will still will have Godox products. Uh, they're, 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 they're everywhere. So uh, I will never leave, quote-unquote, leave Godox, but... For this particular uh, instance of my work, I felt it was time for a change, and I'm giving Westcott a shot. So uh, I'm not being sponsored by any brand, Westcott or Godox or any of that. Uh, I want to thank Competitive Camera for helping me out with my lights, uh, lighting choice. I'm not sponsored by them. So this is completely my opinion. I haven't even sh uh, shot with these lights yet. so. We'll see what happens, um, but first, my history with Godox goes back, you know, from you know the Godox uh, early systems, and um, I have settled down on the Godox 8400 Pros, which I do love. I mean, they're they're portable, uh, they're strong, they're powerful. They they they've never failed on me on a on a job, and uh, so. Uh, I've traveled all over with them and never had any issues with them. Um, techno uh, the, the technology is pretty simple. Um, also, you know, the interface is very easy to use. So there are a lot of positives uh, uh, for Godox lighting, to use Godox lighting, and I still have a few Godox uh, strobes here in my studio. But why, did, why am I changing? Uh, well, the main reasons, a couple of reasons. Number one, if you've seen some of my uh, latest behind the scenes video, uh, it could be the age of my lights, but the grip, the handle grip with the Godox 8400, they're terrible. Uh, so they're not holding, holding uh, its weight. So I use pretty much medium to large size modifiers. I'm not a small modifier guy. I don't like. I don't use like the 24 or, or anything like that. I do have them, but use it as a hair light or something like that. But my main modifiers usually start at 36 inches, and then 42 inch, 48 inch, and then my big umbrellas. So, and so, so I will put them, and then you'll see the light just slowly you know, bend down because it can't hold the weight. So once I set up all my lights and get to my position to start shooting and then I'm seeing, okay, it's starting to move. I have to go back, try to tighten it as hard as I can and, you know, hope for the best or raise the light higher than I would normally do. So, and I know there's a workaround for that. I've had a buddy of mine send me a washer to, to add to uh, the bolt. And it kind of worked, but again, with these heavy modifiers, it just still seemed to be stripping, and I'm, you know, it was just very frustrating. Uh, so that being said, that's one issue, 
and um, and it could be due to the age of my my lights. Uh, again, they're durable. They've last forever. Um, also, the main reason. Here's the main reason: color. Color is obviously very important, and uh, I'm a photographer that preaches to get it right in camera so that when you do post your post work is minimum you're only doing uh, a little bit of time because as frequent as I shoot and as much as I shoot I just don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, color correcting and doing all this stuff like that so in, in most most cases you're going to color correct but it's usually a blanket color correction and so you will start with your first couple of images get that down and then bam you can you can, you know, in Lightroom, just knock them all out or capture one, knock them all out. But here's the problem. If your color's inconsistent from shot to shot, then you can't do that. You can't do a blanket correction. So you have to go almost individually for each shot. So what's been happening lately in, my few sh in uh, the last few shoots, uh, I'll have one, two, three, one color, and then a different color uh, cast, and then a different color cast. I don't know if that's the problem with the bulbs, if they, you know, they age out. Um, I mean, my lights, probably around three, these set of lights were about three or four years old. Um, one was older than the other. But I had a shoot, uh, I, was, I, was, I was hired by a company out of Germany, and I had to do some shoots here in Texas, and it was horrendous, where the color shift was so dramatic from magenta to green, every other shot, uh, I thought there was something wrong with my camera. Um, and so, again, I shoot Sony. And so I brought my camera into the studio and I have my studio lights, uh, which are Speedatrons, and I've had those forever. Colors great, consistent. I had several shoots with that, nothing with the camera. So go back to my Godox lights and then there's the color shift. So I called my buddies at competitive and you know i asked them you know they they know what i do they know where what you know my content and what i shoot and so on so i just asked them what's the what would be the best economical way for me to you know fix this issue well they suggested the westcott fj 400s same kind of power but they said it, the color would be a lot more consistent um i've had people say why don't you go pro photo and I know pro photos are nice, and for you pro photo users out there, more power to you. I just can't see myself uh, as, uh, I don't want to say the word reckless, but I travel a lot and I, I use my gear and, you know, it's from, from luggage to airplane to all that. And for one set of pro photo lights, it's three sets of these lights. So I just don't see myself. And if anything happened to, any of these types of lights, um, I can easily find a, a, a camera store that will have either Godox or Westcott. Um, that being said, more power to you, Photo guys. You know, if I had them, yes, I would use them. But Westcott uh, it seems to have this reputation of being more color consistent shot after shot after shot. So that's my main two reasons. You know, please leave a comment, you know, if, you know, hey, you, you would have done this or would have done that or, you know, let me know your experience if you had similar experience with Godox. Uh, and if you're a Westcott user, let me know what you, you know, what your experience is. This is my first set of Westcott lights uh, and I will do my tests and I'll show some behind the scenes later down the line when I do my test shoots with it. I'm not taking it on the field yet. Uh, <clears throat> I do a lot of corporate work. So I'm a running gun kind of guy. So hopefully these things will stand up. I've been, you know, doing my homework, watching West, watching a lot of YouTube, and just seeing the content that's out there. And again, I'm not sponsored by anyone. So if I like them, I will share the reasons why I like them. I really like my Godox 80 400 Pros. Uh, I will still recommend them, but my work and the consistency of the work that I've been doing has just gone up a notch and it was just really a pain to go and you know having to fix you know color correction color image shifts uh, almost shot after shot so hopefully this might fix the problem and and let's see what you know what happens um, you usually can tell after your first thousand shots you know if the gear is going to 
be you know will be good for you or, or not so uh, I have them have it right here I'm gonna pull it out let you guys see you know what I got and uh, it's not really an unboxing because I unboxed it already uh, so I could charge the lights and so on but uh, this is the first here's the F the Westcott uh, FJ 400 and uh, I'm gonna pull it down here Case. There we go. So it comes with this nice big. Uh, it's not a bit as big as the Godox case, but it's nice and compact and packed in there. Throw that right here. And it comes with the charger. Your battery. You better look at it. There we go. You can see it. There we go. You have your USB-C cable. Let me see if it'll focus in right there. There we go. And this is obviously for firmware updates. Throw that back in there. Uh, here is, I believe, the uh, the bones mount ring. Uh, there we go. Those are all of my modifiers are bone bones mount. Here's the light. There we go. Got plastic. There's a little short, short reflector that it comes with. And that. What I've heard, it was just pretty cool uh, that the the bulb basically is a two piece a two piece bulb you have this extended glass housing and then you have the actual tube uh, flash tube inside and then also you have an LED light right in the middle of it let me see if you guys can see right there and what's really awesome let's and I hope this doesn't happen but if for some reason the glass tube breaks it doesn't affect the uh, the LED or the flash tube, and I can still use it, you know, normally. So, hopefully, I don't have to experience anything like that. Um, I don't like breaking things, but stuff does happen. So, I'm going to turn this thing on. Hold the button down. There we go. It's lighting up. Let's see if it's focused. There we go. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And uh, we'll do a more, or well, I'll do a more a uh, in-depth review. There's plenty of reviews on YouTube, and you know I'm not trying to be a review guy. I'm just a working photographer that, you know, when I uh, this is kind of a major shift for me. You know, I, my workflow is always with has been with Godox, and at least for you know for this portion of my my work when I'm on the field. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a go give it a try let's see how it works and uh, and then you know we'll do some behind the scenes here's it's flashing right there let me see if I can figure out how to put on the LED probably not but we'll see okay I don't know how to put on the LED yeah, but you're probably yelling at me it's like dude it's right there this is how you do it but I don't know how to do it yet one cool thing also that you can't do with the Godox is that uh, I can when the power is low I can put the AC DC adapter power cable to it and still use it as a strobe so if I have power you know I could plug it in and I'm not dead in the water if the battery goes dead so but I'll figure out the rest of this darn thing in a little bit. 
What else did I? Oh, there it is. Oh, look. I'm smart. Smarter than I think. Here's the LED. All right. So do you see that? And do you hear that? There's a fan there. So I don't think I would use this as a, a video monitor, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty bright. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Okay. But that fan is pretty loud. So. All right. So that's part of the, of the kit. I think there's something else that comes in there. Hold on. Let me see. I got a little table here. I hope things don't fall off. All right, here. This also comes with the kit. And we have the bag strap. We have like a quick start guide right here. And uh, I believe these are gels or some, yeah, they're gels. I think that's pretty cool. All right, that's not all. You know, I'm trying not. I'm trying not to make this a very long video, but that's not all that I got. Makes me nervous. So with uh, if, if you guys are Godox shooters, which probably. 85% of you guys are that are listening to this video. Uh, here's another cool feature uh, for Westcop is their trigger, their, universe, their universal trigger. So their trigger, let me see if it'll focus in. There we go. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. Let me... All right, their trigger here is universal. So what, what does that mean? It means that I can use this trigger on my Fuji camera, my Nikon camera, my uh, Lumix camera, uh, and my Sony camera, and my Canon camera, and all, any camera that I have. Uh, that's pretty cool um, to get a trigger that can do all of those things and that I don't need to have multiple triggers like I do with my Godox system. I have a, a set of go to, uh, Nikon, uh, uh, Fuji, and Sony triggers just so I can use my Godox lights. This, I can use in multiple cameras, just one trigger. Um, I think that's awesome. Uh, the only thing uh, different is that Sony's proprietary, I guess, hot shoe, you have to get an adapter so that, you know, let me see if it'll focus in. It won't focus in, but you have to get an adapter that will f work with Sony, and uh, it's only 20 bucks, so it's well worth it. And we'll do a review on that, or I'll, I'll show you how this kind of you know sets up. It uh, has its own battery, so just charge it, and it's good to go. Charge it via USB, and ready. No batteries to insert. Also, what else did I get? What else? I got the, I want to see how the FJ200 is. Um, let's see what this looks like. Would, will it replace my Godox AD200, which I do love and I adore. adore. I think that's there. The, I think here's my... Uh, my Godox 8200s. Now, these here are com a complete game changer. I have a set of these. This is what I get on a plane with and travel and do all my corporate headshots with. Plenty of power, versatility. Um, you know, they're heavy, they're strong. The, the batteries last all day. I've never, again, ne they've never failed me. I've only had one instance where uh, I had an 8200 fall on me and it cracked open in the in the bottom so that's why I have these little silicon you know booties on it and stuff like that so that if it falls it, it'll fall on the on the rubber part over here uh, you can get these on Amazon uh, I don't have a link I don't have an affiliate link yet but you know you just 
put silicon casing for Godox 8200s and these should pop up and uh, you can get a set of these but again my favorite 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 light of all time I'm not getting rid of these there will be traveling with me until I get acclimated to the Westcott system Alright, let's pull this out. So this one also comes with a little little case right there. See? Okay. So this comes kit comes with here's the the body. It's uh, really interesting. So face it right so it's very cylinder like it's like a tube very cylinder so it's uh, unlike the FJ 400 there is no uh, clear tubing on top of it it's just the the bulb for the flash tube and then you have the LED light. Makes me extremely nervous. So here, you know, the difference is with the AD200, you know, I got this head, regular flash head. Then I also have, I don't have it with me, there's a cross, cross with me. I also have the, the bulb tube heads also, so universal heads. So this makes me nervous because unless this thing, you know, you got to keep the cap on it. This can easily break. Um, very nervous about that. It doesn't feel, I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, hard plastic. Uh, it doesn't feel as sturdy as the AD200s, but battery is kind of similar. Stick it in here, slide it in. All right. I mean, again, I feel nervous because if I obviously if I drop this the head first, it's it's a goner. It's a goner. All right, here we go. I'm turning on. Very similar interface as the FJ400. You dial in your power settings. Little different than the Godox, where you use uh, um, fractions to uh, to kind of you know dial in your your traditional fraction of power instead of this, uh, where you gotta I gotta kind of understand the the, the 1.0 system. <laughs> and let's see, I'll strobe right there. I'll hold on to it. Turn it off. Let's see. This also has a screw mount right here, so if I want to mount it onto a, a, a light stand, it's kind of the same with Godox, it'll mount this way, where since this is a cylinder, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Comes with a little s snout um, here. There's a grid. Grids removed. You can take this all out. Battery charger, cord, all that. Also comes with these little flimsy uh, color gels. So I guess you slap it on here. Um, yeah, you just slap it on here, I guess. I guess I'll figure that out when I do some gel work or something like that. So there you have it. There's my, uh, my footprint into the Westcott lighting system. And uh, I'll hope to share some behind the scenes and some photos uh, in a future video change for me is 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 almost drastic i don't change because you know i'm i'm pushing a brand or pushing a gear i've, I've been a 
Cheetah Stand ambassador for quite a while. I, I, the only reason why I am a Cheetah Stand ambassador for modifiers is because I trust in the product. Uh, I've been using Godox forever. Like I said, I am not getting rid of my Godox 8200s because uh, I trust in the product. And as a professional photographer, you just have to have gear that you can rely on. Once it starts failing on you uh, or you're, you're having some issues, I mean, it's costing you more time to do your job, that's when you start looking for other solutions. Now maybe with the Godox 8400 uh, Pros, I could have had a better solution for those or, you know, wait on customer service and, you know, and since Godox does not have live customer service, I would have had to submit a ticket and hopefully somebody email me back and then, you know, start that conversation. Or, you know, I could have talked to, you know, many, many of my friends on, on, on social media. But I felt like this was a good time for me to, you know, to see what the Westcott lighting system can do. Um, I'm getting ready to hit the road again, and so we'll see. We'll see if these, these will uh, um, meet the need that I have. So, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Please subscribe, uh, like, and subscribe, you know. Uh, I want you guys to join, um, you know, uh, my YouTube because I'm going to be really honest about my reviews. I'm not going to just, you know, be paid to do something or say, hey, you know, just you got to tote the company line. I love what I do as a photographer and I buy tools that that help me do my job better. So I don't sh I don't <laughs> I don't shift cameras just because I shift cameras. You know, I've been with, again, the Sony system for the past seven years. I just um, bought a Fuji GFX, which I love, and I'll do my review on that. Uh, they both do, uh, provide different uh, uh, purposes in my, in my workflow. Sony, again, will always be in my toolkit, you know, uh, especially for video. Uh, Fuji, oh my gosh, it, it's a great, great camera. But there are some drawbacks with that. It's good at at are certain things, and it's pretty bad at certain certain other, certain other things. But we'll discuss that in another video. Before I jump off, um, this might be the next video. I just received the package from Godox, actually, and I will be reviewing this, the R two hundred. Okay, so I'm really excited about giving this a try, you know, for many reasons. Uh, one, beauty photography, and two, uh, macro photography. So my next video coming up, pretty, you know, in the next week or so, uh, will probably be a review on this and some behind the scenes. And uh, thanks, Godox, for sending this to me. You know, I'm, again, I'm not leaving Godox. This particular piece of my business, I, I think I needed to make a change. So hopefully it was a good decision. If not, I'll go back to Godox. So, uh, but that being said, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Let's hopefully, hopefully the next video will be a better video. I'm, I'm growing in this medium, uh, in, in YouTube and so on. Please, I, I really want to hear from you guys how it could be better. Uh, please like and subscribe and support. Thanks a lot to the next one. Peace.